the $9.99 tier on YouTube is now active. It should be live right now. In fact, it is. I see it playing on the screen right here. No one can understand her, and it's a new name for the guy. So there is Stone Silence. <laughs> all you hear is Vicky cackling. And then Andrade walks out, and they say, hey, it's Andrade. And then they all cheer. Who should make the save but... What was his name again? What are you talking about? Holy cow, the, my, my mind just went completely blank. Interference, 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 run in, run I, in, run in, run in. Yes. There's a lot going on on this show. Alex Marvez goes to interview Kenny Omega and Don Callis. They're editing a video of the match. I was not a cool person when I was young. What? I'm certainly not a cool person now that I am old. What? And so they all grab a burger, and they go to bang burgers together. Excuse me? That's literally what they did. Okay. So Nyla's a babyface? Yes! Oh, God. Obviously. This was dumb. It was very dumb. Nyla's the babyface? Of course. <laughs> Has she ever been a babyface before? No. Well, how was I supposed to know she was then? Well, she beat up the heels and broke no, their no, burgers. No, she didn't beat up anybody, Brian. That would have been cool. I've seen a million dives where it appears to be a bad landing, and I watch it. And you realize that it actually wasn't as bad as it appeared. That was not this one. <laughs> I watched this fucking thing, and I don't have any earthly idea how in God's name she's alive. This show was a punt. <laughs> they, they, they put a Bucks match on here, but otherwise, this was a missable show. Apparently, Craig's connection dropped off or something. Yeah, we're like done that. anyway. <laughs> There's just a picture of him frozen right there. <laughs> Looking rather bummed. <laughs> uh, Granny, what's going on? Got new speakers for my computer and a new computer chair. Well, what kind of chair is it? A chair chair. Oh, it's a rocking chair? Yeah, it's got a horse on it? Yeah, I got the speakers and I couldn't get them to work, so Lynn came over yesterday and helped me with them. Let me guess, she plugged them in. Yep. <laughs> Sounds great. I got something, but... Uh, it's It'll just stay in a closet? Make room in your closet. You know what? I don't have room in my closet because all the other stuff you got me is in there. You could get it. You could get me cameo. How about one from Brian's favorite opponent, Nick Gage? Nick Gage does cameos. Wow, I don't want one from Nick Gage. <laughs> Soap's out of style after this pandemic. I've heard. What now? Yeah, people aren't showering anymore. I can't go a day without showering. What? Yes, I, I I must shower every day. What a people creep! Are people are disgusting. You don't know how long I can go without a shower. Actually, I do. When you shower and clean your body every day, it's 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 actually in in a uh, it's a uh, a, a, good, net, a good idea. A net negative. No, you've got to have some stuff on your body. You keep washing all that stuff off, and you just open yourself up for sicknesses. <laughs> so you want my my children and wife to lie to me for my birthday? I mean, they no. could say, "Oh, you're 36 today, Brian. Congratulations." I'd be or fine I, with that. Or I love you. Oh, get out of here, you idiot. Wow. Craig's, Craig's asking for it today. <laughs> it's so bad. I'm having a very, difficulty, a very difficult time getting it out. Heath Katie writes. Getting it up? Getting out. Uh. Getting the poem, poem out. Reading the poem. Shut up, all of you. Let's celebrate a birthday week. A birthday week for a total geek. <laughs> <laughs> Brian is that birthday geek. So happy birthday to the geek of the week. That is not just a poem, Heath. But that are you all right over there? It's, it's so awful. No, it's not, Vinny. It's maybe the best poem we've ever read on this program. A favorite tactic of his is to grab the face in a in a claw like hand, cutting off the air supply by covering the mouth and nose. What? What happened to uh Miz? He got her bad. He got eaten by zombies. That's why he's in a wheelchair? Yes. Well, he's in a wheelchair. I guess he ate his leg. <laughs> Here he comes. He's got a great big roast beef sandwich and nothing for me. <laughs> Brian. I just want to give you a bad time, Brian. On my birthday week? Yep. I never give up on you. <laughs> that's, that's for sure, Granny. This takeover did not come out of nowhere. They knew it was coming. I know I'm sounding like an old man, but in the old days, when they were not on the USA Network... We had like three months of programming to build up to one takeover. I was pleased with the match until we had what we have in every match, on every show, in now every fucking company. Distraction. Interference. Distraction. 
interference, distraction, disqualification, interference. I'm done with it. And he starts to cackle. <laughs> and the women are just sitting there. And he looks at him. <laughs> and they get the cue. They start to cackle. <laughs> First time he felt like a, a relatable, believable human being. You related well, to wrong. LA Knight. That's, okay, that's maybe the wrong term. And then we get Doc Hendricks hosting the In Your House Slam Jam in classic 1990s WWF style. And I'll see you this Sunday at In Your House. I'm not going to quite say that I was wrong, but I'm going to say something. As ridiculous as it was, and as preposterous as the booking was, and as much as I still don't know what the fuck's going on, I will say that whatever they did got Killian Dane over with me. Mm. It's his place, but he's not very cool about it. He's doing cannonballs into his big giant pool like a geek, trying to smoke cigars, literally weeping because he can't smoke, trying to drink fine whiskey and scotch because that's what rich people do, but he can't bear it. Oh, there she is. Mari Miller on Instagram. The captain of Team Babe. <laughs> That's what it says right there. That is a much, much better name than Captain of Team Kick. Let's see. We got Bikini Shot, Bikini Shot, Bikini Shot. Uh, I don't believe you. I better investigate. Butt Shot, Bikini Shot. She wails and weeps and screams off in the background. William Regal and Triple H are playing this 100,000% for comedy. Ted DiBiase opens that briefcase, and there is the cherished million-dollar belt. They're salivating. They're hyperventilating. You've never seen two men make a belt look as important as this million-dollar belt looked here. It needs to be a full body suit from your neck to your feet, and there's just got to be shit coming off of it everywhere, okay? So every time your opponent goes to cover, you tell the ref he's pulling the tights. <laughs> Because there's just fabric everywhere. You know what I'm saying? You're such a geek. So you do this over and over again. And then, of course, at the end, you roll him up and you pull his fucking tights and win. I thought about it because, like, I never win. I was like, I could win one time by pulling this shit here. It's EO fucking Shirai. She's trapped in developmental. Time for Cole to get out of here. Cole is an even bigger example. When he's on the screen talking, everyone else on the show comes off like a complete amateur. He just blew them all away. To a degree, it like still felt like a disappointment. Because if I watch an Okada match, and it's not like the best match of the year, I feel like he could have done better. That is the, that is the curse of greatness. Well, yeah, but hey, he still did a four and a half, four and three quarter star yes, match yes. for a belt he doesn't give a shit about and <laughs> thinks it's really <laughs> yes. fucking dumb what they did. That is the promo. That is the storyline going in. Oh, God, he Okada rules.